Every year, more than 1 million people die from the use of water from unsafe sources. 2 billion people across the world are unable to access clean, treated water. This accounts for around 25% of the world's population, according to the World Health Organization. With these chilling statistics, one must shudder to think, is the same applicable to our dear land of Guyana? Although Guyana is known as the land of many waters, decades have passed without citizens, particularly those living in the hinterland communities, having access to a safe water supply. Basically, when the rain fell, we would preserve that for drinking water purpose, and this, this uh, water we use like for wash. We fetch up, we fetch it up in bucket, the five-gallon bucket. So one or two people would have the wheelbarrow with the um, five-gallon bottle. You know, they would take it up with that. Well, it was quite difficult. Yeah, because when I have my, like, house chores to do, my two boys to send to school, I know sometimes I have to do, um, somebody call on me to catch a day work or so. Like, to come down, it used to be a bit difficult because when you got to fetch down your clothes and then when it wet, now fetch it up back again, it's heavy, you know? Yeah, but at the time we couldn't do nothing else and that was the only option. Daniels has been living in the Amerindian village of Swan on the Suzdike Linden Highway for more than 10 years, making ends meet for her four children. We're here at one of the newest wells constructed by the Ministry of Housing and Water. This well, drilled and put into operation two months ago and costing millions of dollars, services just about 800 people here in the community of Swan. Now having easier access to treated water, Daniels and other residents detailed how much this move has made their lives much easier. Oh, well, I, I, I cannot find words to explain to you how the government is doing a lot of good things in Swan now, right? Real, real good. And I really want to thank the government of Guyana for doing development in this community. Right now, I have two more kids beside the forest too, so um, instead of leaving them, I wash right home, get the water to cook, get the water to wash, get the water to do general cleaning, everything right home. So it's very, very useful now. Sustainable water management and the maintenance and construction of adequate water supply infrastructure remain paramount towards improving the lives of all Guyanese. Since 2020, more than $27 billion has been invested in Guyana's water sector to achieve this goal.